Making the future continuous easy. Regular verbs, short answers. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's English grammar lesson. We're going to continue our journey into the world of English verbs and tenses, focusing on regular verbs in the future continuous tense. But there's a twist. We're going to discuss a particular aspect of this tense, short answers. This is a great way to keep your language concise and direct. Are you ready? Let's get started. The future continuous tense talks about an action or event that will be ongoing at a certain time in the future. For regular verbs, it's pretty easy to form. Just use the subject, followed by, will be, and then add the verb in its base form with, ing. For instance, I will be working. However, when someone asks you a question in the future continuous tense, how should you answer? With a full sentence, or is there a better, more succinct way? That's where short answers come in. Short answers are a neat, quick way to respond to questions, perfect for natural, flowing conversation. For the future continuous tense, the structure of short answers is pretty straightforward. If you want to affirm, you'd say, yes, I will, or yes, subject, will. For a negative response, it's, no, I won't, or, no, subject, won't. Remember, won't, is the contraction of, will not. Let's look at some examples now. Question. Will you be studying at 10 p.m. tonight? Short answer. Yes, I will. Or, no, I won't. As you can see, short answers enable you to respond effectively without needing to repeat the full sentence. They make your speech or writing more fluid and concise. Now that we've learned the theory, it's time for some practice. Try to respond to these questions using short answers. 1. Will he be playing football tomorrow? 2. Will they be traveling next week? 3. Will we be meeting at 2 p.m.? Remember, practice is the key to mastering any new concept in language learning. And that's it for today's lesson on short answers in the future continuous tense with regular verbs. We hope this lesson made your understanding of the future continuous tense even clearer. Keep practicing, and soon, answering questions in this tense will become second nature to you. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Happy learning!